What's up? Big O, North Town Sound, shootout. Uh, it's really dark out, so I'm trying out the new light. I don't think it's designed for this. Anyways, the Eno, my Amorpha. We have the new Mosky Black Rat. We have two, basically, Turbo Rat situations here. Let's check them out. We're running Gorm. We got some humbuckers going through the power block, the Beta 57, the usual nonsense. Uh, so I got some hairspray. I've got some flannel on. Let's see what we get out of these, shall we?
Roshani. Ah, uh, boy, the Myomorpha really reminds me a lot of sort of the 90s reissue rats. I am not a fan of rats. I'm going to say that straight off the bat. Um, I'm from Alberta. This is a rat-free province, so I don't like rats. I um, always found them too fizzy. Uh, this reminds me a lot about the 90s ones, though. It's got that much smoother bottom end than the 80s ones did, and a little bit better than the newer ones. A um, little bit more refined sounding compared to the new ones. The black rat reminds me of the newer ones. It's a little unfocused, and it's a lot darker. I don't know if you could tell with the tones. Now, the Myomorpha is like the original rat. You have to go counterclockwise for treble. This is the way it should be, where it's clockwise for treble. Um, I had to bring the treble up on this a lot higher than this thing. This thing actually gets shrill. This one doesn't. A um, little less focused, but under lower gain situations, that might actually be a bit of a fattening bonus. This is a little clinical sounding. So, Fat Man's pick is going to go to the Myomorpha, because it's a little more refined sounding. Again, neither one of these I would want on a board I'm setting up, but you might. And if you do, head on over to NorthtownSound.com or over to Reverb.com slash shop slash NorthtownSound. Check these out. They're both econo. They both sound great. And as usual, micro size. The way it should be, more effects on your board. Big Earl, Nortown Sound. Later.